Welcome to this week's video cast. Got a few things we want to share with you guys. Uh, first of all, one of our sponsors is Walzer Automotive. And people ask me all the time how they could support uh, YHH. The be best and easiest way is to buy products from our sponsors. So if you need your oil change, go into the Walzer store, any of the Walzer dealerships and get your oil change. There's a coupon on our site for $13.95 oil change. If you're not going to buy a car from them or you're not in the market for a car, the easiest way to support YHH would be go get your oil changed at one of their uh, several dealerships around the Twin Cities area. Next topic is the Wiz Wyatt Award. Uh, we talked about the Player of the Year Award last week where we're looking for kids that are great hockey players, great athletes, great students, great leaders on their teams. Uh, we can na officially name it after Wiz. Wiz was a great player in Minneapolis, went on to play at Harvard, was a volunteer coach in both Minneapolis and Edina. He's the uh, epitome of what Minnesota hockey's all about. Uh, we will be selecting finalists here in the next six weeks. Uh, by February 15th, we will nominate our finalists, and at the end of the season, we'll give out the Player of the Year awards in, in his name. Uh, any player or manager can submit a Player of the Year name uh, and association to us. Any details would be greatly appreciated. Send the um, nomination to matt at youthhockeyhub.com. Matt at youthhockeyhub.com. Next up, let's get to the rink. Uh, I got three big tournaments this weekend, as big as they get when it comes to girls. The Duluth Girls Tournament is unbelievable. At the 12A level, it's essentially the state tournament. They have probably 16 of the top 24 teams in the state participating in this tournament, including uh, the top four or five, uh, Farmington, Edina, Shakopee, Egan, and White Bear Lake are all in this tournament, and they all get seeded out nicely. They don't have to play each other in pool play. They can meet each other in the, in the championship side of the bracket as long as they take care of the business. We pick Edina to win this tournament. Uh, they're undefeated this year. They're a fantastic team. Uh, we don't see them uh, losing this tournament, but if you were going to pick a team that was hot, I'd pick Farmington, that they could come in and sneak in and beat uh, Edina in the semifinal game. Uh, next tournament is the Rozo Dick Johnson Tournament. Freddie from our site uh, did a great little preview of the tournament. Um, I'm picking Edina to win that one as well. Um, also, if you're going to pick an upset there, uh, the only team that I can see upsetting them would have to happen in pool play would be Minnetonka from District 6, uh, a real strong team, a nice three-line affair over there at Minnetonka. I could see them knocking out Edina eventually. Um, another team playing up there is Lakeville South. Uh, they're playing really well right now, and they have a strong line, strong goaltending. That's the kind of team that could beat uh, Edina up in Roseau. Uh, finally is the Squirt A and Squirt B tournament over in Bloomington. Uh, we look for Rosemont to win the Squirt A's. Uh, I'm really interested to see the LA team that are in the, that is in the Rosemont pool. Uh, I believe this is the same team that played in the Brick this summer as 2002's. Um, and they were a pretty good team up there up in Edmonton last summer. Uh, I look for them to maybe challenge against Rosemont. Uh, I also look for Chaska Chan to win their pool um, and a couple other pools, Prior Lake, Burnsville, I look for them to advance, possibly Stillwater to advance. That's a really good pool at the, on the top end of the pools there in the score days. But ultimately we look for Rosemont to continue their undefeated run through the state and win the Bloomington tournament. In the B bracket we look for Edina Black to win that tournament. Uh, lots of good teams in that field, but they're the one that stands out to me as playing the best hockey right now and have had the toughest schedule and have a very good winning percentage as well. So we look for Edina Black to win the Bs at, over in Bloomington over on Martin Luther King Day. I will be at those two championship games and the Bloomington Amateur Hockey Association has asked me to do the PA announcing for both the A and B championship games. So if you're at the rink, feel free to say hi. I look forward to meeting anyone out there in Minnesota hockey land. Finally, I want to highlight a rink, and I, I love old rinks. Um, was in Bemidji last week and got a chance to see the city rink in Bemidji, and it was awesome. It was an old tin shed. I swear the ceiling was only about 25 feet high. Uh, it seated probably 100, 200 max seating where, where you could sit down. I asked a guy from Bemidji up there, I said, well, where did people, this is where their high school team played for years, for decades, actually. 
And I asked him, well, where did people sit when they had high school games? Well, you're looking at it. They would stand around the rink, you know, six, seven, eight deep, getting in there. And it was just going to imagine, just places reeked of history. Gary Sargent and George Palava. And, I mean, the string of great players that have played at Bemidji High School, both the boys and girls up there, has been phenomenal. It was just, the place was awesome. One of my new favorite rinks is the city rink up at Bemidji. Look forward to a great weekend this weekend. Uh, look forward to hearing from you guys, sounding off about uh, the rankings and uh, my predictions today, uh, everything there. Uh, the rankings obviously going at the bottom of the screen. Uh, look forward to hearing from all you guys this week. Have a good week.